So now, when we click on this conversation, for example, when we select a conversation, we are going to the conversation page. But at the moment, we are only loading static data. So let's make this dynamic by loading the actual conversation that we pass in this route. So let's go back. Yeah, let's open the chat, rather the main component. In here, since we are passing the chat parameter at the top, here in the web, if you check in the words, we're passing this chat right here. So now let's go ahead and actually access this in our component. In here, we can say public chat. Also, let's say public conversation. Right, here we're going to create a mount function. In here, I'm going to say this conversation is equals to conversation model find or fail this chat. So we're getting this ID and then trying to find or fetch the conversation from our database. Now, after accessing this conversation, now we can get this whole conversation here in the chat, live wire chat chat. We can pass this conversation to our live wire chat component. Conversation is equals to dollar sign conversation. Now after passing that, let's go now to our chat component in here. Let's now access that conversation in here. And since we're dealing with live wire, we can just inject it like that. So here we can say public conversation is equal to conversation. So we can directly access it and I can start using it without declaring it on the mount. We can say public receiver because we're going to use the receiver a lot. Public receiver. And you can say function mount. Let's set this receiver in the mount, which is like our constructor. So here, this receiver is equals to. Actually, make sure I type this correctly. This I typed this wrong. It's supposed to be receiver. Also, this receiver. Here we can get this conversation. This conversation. Get receiver. All right, now we have the receiver set. And now we can access these two receiver and conversation in our chat component. All right, so after that, now let's go ahead to our blade file of this chat. So your chat, this one, resources, this one, resources, live wire views chat. In here, for now, I'm just going to focus on the header of this chat blade file. In here, first of all, this one return button because if you see here, if I go to this conversation, if I try to reduce this, we have this return button, but it does not, like, you know, there's no event yet. So let's create an event that's when you click, we can be redirected back to our conversations. Right here, in here, I'm just going to say route chat that's it so now if we go if we resize this and then click here you see we're going back to the chat when you click we're going back we're going to, our, to a new conversation but after doing that let's go back to our code in here in the avatar you can simply wrap this avatar in an a link let's move this avatar inside here here make sure i add wire ignore since we are pulling images directly from unsplash in here, we're going to add the profile like this route home, the profile home, since this is a user. In here, since we, we declared this receiver inside here, we can now simply start using it in our blade file. So, in here, you can simply say receiver user name. Then, down here, we can remove the fake name receiver name. Here, uh, remove these brackets because this is not a method. After that, since when we click on the name, we also want to redirect the user profile. So we can simply copy this A link, wrap this inside an A tag. And then now when I click on this name, we can also go to the user profile. All right, now if we go back, let's refresh the page. Awesome, now you see we can redirect the conversation, go back and forth. If we click on this, we can go to the user profile. And it's the same name you can see here. If we go back, we can go back to this same conversation right here. Now, last thing that here the conversation is selected, but we, we are not aware of which conversation is selected here on the left because we are not yet highlighting 
which conversation we have selected. So let's go ahead and work on that. So in here, we can simply go to our chat list. In here, inside this chat list item in the list class, right here, we can just simply add open brackets. We're gonna access the chat parameter. This one, if you go to the web, we're gonna access this one in our blade file. And we can do that via the global request. So we can just say request. It's very helpful. Chat. This is to get the chat ID that we are passing in our web or in our route. If the request chat is equals to this conversation ID, ID question mark, then we're gonna say background can be gray 100. Or else don't add in the background. So in here, we can simply add a question mark here to avoid in now errors. Also a question mark there. So now if you go and refresh, you see that now it's been highlighted here in this conversation. If I click on the one on top, it's also been highlighted. And if I go to the user, sorry, if I click here, you see it's not nothing has been highlighted. If I click again, it highlighted conversation. So I think that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.